everyone, my name is Gab Megan and I'm from Authors Press. Today is April 15th, 2024. Welcome to another fantastic virtual interview where I am gathered here today with Jamie Fiddler, the author of Jamie's Inspirations, Poems from the Heart and Mind. Hi Jamie, can you tell us about yourself? Hi, um, my name is Jamie. I'm from a small town out in uh, BC called Alder Grove and I'm 46 years old and uh, I've been living here most of my life, and uh, I really don't have much else to say. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. What inspired you to become a poet and an author? Uh, well, I was uh, when I was young. I um, I started to write poems from the mind, or whatever. Also, that poems that I felt and the words just frequently ran into each other and I thought it was a pretty good so I had kept it because it was poems for other people or for myself and uh, I and then I had read some of my poems to my neighbor and uh, he said to me that he thought they were pretty good poems I maybe should write a book this is years afterwards but uh, I'm like you serious he's like yeah I think you should write a book there Jamie and what about that you have a very good talent I'm like wow so I'm here now <laughs> very talented that's good. What motivated you to write Jamie's Inspirations, Poems from the Heart and Mind? Uh, my own feelings, emotions, inspirations, things that went through my life, things that went through other people's life, feelings that I felt upon for other people. That's very motivational. Can you share with us the central theme or message of your book? Uh, I look at things truly and... Uh, Look at uh, life heartfeltly and uh, look at yourself. That's very beautiful. How do the poems in your book reflect your personal experiences and struggles? Uh, well, one poem is called Present Memories. Uh, it says that um, I was in a car accident when I was earlier in life or whatever else of that, and that, that has put struggles to my life because uh, the car accident... Uh, took a lot out of me or whatever else of that. So I, I thought of that one poem, Present Memories, it says about my life and about what I'm missing and about how my mind is feeling. That's very inspirational. What was the creative process like for you while writing this collection of poems? I had just feelings I felt upon other people, feelings I had for other people, inspirations that they brought upon me, uh, feelings they brought upon me. Just the main life of love, I guess. <laughs> Very beautiful. Are there specific poems in the book that hold a special significance to you? If so, could you share the story behind one of them? Um, Daydream. Uh, uh, would you like me to read the poem? Please. To as I look at the flames glowing in the dark, charcoal underneath the woods, smoldering red hot. To the bricks and behind, the green, blue, and yellow flames, to the red hot burning, to that we both feel the same. But the heart is still sizzling for you and me to be with each other that I feel for eternity. That's I thought beautiful. of that poem when I was looking into the fireplace one day. <laughs> that is very beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you, you hope readers will connect with and benefit from reading your poetry? Uh, inspiration in other people's minds and feeling some things that may have I felt but in different situations and uh, I hope they like it and uh, I hope it continues on and I hope I continue on. That's very wonderful. What challenges did you face while writing and publishing Jamie's Inspirations? Uh, I never thought my poems were good enough to be in, brought into a book. I just thought they were poems that uh, a normal person had brought up. But when my neighbor had inspired me to uh, write the book, uh, I thought of uh, him saying, wow, that's a real great, those are great poems. You should inspire them into a book and put them in a book and let other people read. Wonderful. How do you balance expressing your emotions authentically through poetry while also en engaging your readers? Mm. 
just uh, take their minds out of uh, realization for a while and read the words on the paper and uh, feel the emotions that the writer was feeling. And you may feel emotions or struggles in your own life that those words describe. Incredible. Thank you. What advice would you give to aspiring poets and authors who are looking to share their own inspirations through writing? Look into your heart, look into your soul, look into your own life and your own self and uh, find the words that come from the mind and your heart and uh, be yourself. That's very helpful. Thank you for that. Where can we purchase your book? Uh, you can purchase it on Amazon. I have a website, too, I believe, and uh, I'm not sure if it's being sold in bookstores yet, but uh, you can purchase it on Amazon. Perfect. Thank you. So you have an option to answer this question or not. We just need to ask this for us to be able to serve our authors in the future. How was your experience working with authors for us? It was great. It was fantastic. And uh, I intrigue other people to go with you guys because uh, you make people happy. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Thank you. That's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for meeting with me today and discussing your book. It's been very pleasant speaking with you. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Authors Press either via email or phone number, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Well, thank you very much for having me on. Thank you. This has been Jamie Fiddler and Gab Megan. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a great day. Authors Class.